This is how we can create an outline text animation. The first thing you're going to need is your text. So I'm just going to drag a fusion text right here into our timeline. Here you're going to write whatever you want. In this case, I'm just going to write line so it's a little bit shorter because I'm going to show you the process. Only. Then choose your font. We're going to go to shading. You can also do this in fusion if you don't want to do it in the edit page. Then we're going to go to number two and then we're going to enable these. Going to make sure that the outline is selected increase it a little bit and then we're gonna select number one and then deactivate it so i'm gonna make the outline a little bit less big like that and then we can go into fusion here okay so here in fusion what we're gonna do is divide these into instances so that each letter has one instance the reason for this is that we are gonna mask these and unfortunately there isn't a way like an after effect of just selecting your text and then turn it into a path Maybe in the future there will be, or some genius developer might make it happen, right? Here we're gonna press Ctrl C, and then we're gonna press Ctrl Shift V a bunch of times. So basically one for every letter. We're gonna connect these here, like that. And I'm gonna create a mask for each of these. So we're gonna add a polygon, add it there. I'm gonna press two on this template right now, and then I'm gonna keep these inverted. By default, mine shows up inverted because they saved it like this, but yours will show up like this. So click on invert. Now increase your border width by a little bit. And now we're gonna draw the path for our mask, for our letter. That holding shift is gonna make it easier for you to go around for letters that are straight so that don't have any curves in them. And then to adjust the points when you see this little like leftover, you can just use the arrow keys with the point selected. Here again, we're gonna do that and that, like that. Okay, and then you wanna follow the same process for all of the letters, right? So we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is just copy this polygon right here, press Ctrl V to paste it, and I'm gonna paste it on the second instance, press two, and then follow that same process. Now, after that is done, what you want to make sure is that you in make sure the invert is deselected and take out the solid. And we're going to do that for all of them. And now I'm going to press two on the media out and we're going to see all of them. Now, the reason for making these not solid is that if we keep these solid, we're not going to have the length option, which is what we're going to use to animate our lines. Now, the next step would be to basically just animate the length. So go to zero on the frame zero then create a keyframe. Then we're gonna go to frame, let's say 20, and bring these all the way to one. Then we're gonna just copy this first polygon, go to the second one, right click on length, and then paste these. And we can move these keyframes by holding shift a little bit to the side so that there's a little bit of a delay between each of them. So now I'm gonna do that for all of them. Now, an extra tip, you can always move the position of each of these if you want these to go on a start on a different direction. So if you play around with the position, you can choose when the animation is gonna start or like from what point is gonna start. And also you wanna make sure that your polygons are set to not rounded, but to flat. If it is rounded, you will have to animate the initial point because by default, it will show up like this, like a little dot right here, and we don't want that. So I just keep it flat for now. If you already know what you're doing, then you can keep it rounded and fix that later. Okay, and then what you can do is select all the polygons here, and in the spline tool, we're gonna press F, and then T, and then you can adjust the ease in and out point of them. And if you want them to be a little bit different from each other, you can just deselect these by making them round like the little circle that means they still show up on your splines tool but they are not affected by the different settings that you're moving and the last thing that you can add if you want is press control and spacebar add a transform node we're gonna animate the scale so we're gonna start at zero at frame 20 we're gonna make this 1.2 then at 28 we're gonna bring these back to one and on the spline tool, we're just gonna press F and then bring the T all the way to 100. Let's see how that looks. Maybe it will be better if it just already starts at 1.2, right? Like that. 
it looks fine and you can play around and add more things onto it so yeah that is basically how you can create an outline animation for your text it's a rather time consuming process but that is basically the only way to do it for now unless you bring your text as an svg file if you want me to show you that method let me know down in the comments and maybe i'll do it in the future that is today's video come back tomorrow for more